personal appearances, but when Laurel and Hardy do it, you can expect complications. Yes, even in a simple situation like this, trouble seems to follow them around. Mr. Oliver Hardy, Bachelor of Arts, always appears to have the situation under control, but somehow things just don't seem to work out that way. Take this case, for example. Yes, they've made it and now everybody's happy. Laurel and Hardy, for 30 years, two of the best-known funny men in films, are at Northampton for the start of a music hall tour. Even in the dressing room, it's Hardy who has the final say. And Mr. Stanley Jefferson, Stan Laurel to you, can be so awkward at times. Nothing like a respectable bowler to put the finishing touch to an important personal appearance. Well, usually it's Ollie who gives Stan a well-deserved brush off. Now it looks as if the situation's reversed. But if they're not out soon, it'll be a dusting down for both of them. If the boys sometimes look worried, it's because they're built that way. And now it seems that Stan's causing more anxiety. But there's no real need to worry. This is just another of the team's key situations. Straight from Cuckoo Land came Stan Laurel, and tagging along behind, 21 stones worth of Oliver Hardy. Now, when were we last over here? Uh, 1932, wasn't it? That's right. Yeah. Now we're over here again, what are you going to do? Well, we're going to do some personal appearances and also a picture. What's the picture going to be called? What's the name of the picture? Uh, Robin Hood, I think. Robin Hood. Robin Hood. That should be good uh, fun. We hope so. <laughs> Are we visiting any relatives over here? Can I believe you come from with them? That's right. I'm uh, going to visit my dad and my sister and uh, a few cousins. There's quite a lot of them over here. There's quite a few. What about you, Oliver? Well, I've got a lot of cousins over here, too. I hope. <laughs> uh, anything special you want to do over here, Oliver? Nothing but uh, try and make the people happy and will you keep quiet a minute? <laughs> and uh, have a good time and have everyone else have a good time. I'm talking to the gentleman. Will you keep quiet just a moment? <laughs> and then I think that uh, after a couple of weeks we might... What is it? You're standing on my foot. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Mrs. Stan Laurel and Mrs. Oliver Hardy arrived with two gentlemen two or three hours late. It's a close-up of the men who make you laugh. George Roby in Farmer's Mock has turned program seller in aid of the Farmer's Distress Fund. Here is top heavyweight comedian Oliver Hardy taking up all the space. But partner Stan Laurel isn't far away. It's little Stan who always suffers. Also in the bucket business, Tommy Trinder, back again from Australia. Arriving a little late, Sid Field. He was trying hard to dodge the program selling, but the boys wouldn't let him get away. 
all the proceeds of their work went to aid those farmers who suffered disastrous losses during the flood. And boat train, a Pathé cameraman ran into a couple of old friends, Oliver Hardy and Stan Laurel, on their way to the capital for the Royal Command performance. And Mr. Laurel was being as difficult as ever. with the French food situation. But why are they worrying? Over here they'll be darn lucky if they get any food at all. When the Romney Hythe and Dimchurch Railway, the smallest public railway in the world, recently celebrated its 21st birthday, Messrs Laurel and Hardy were invited to the one of their jobs was to reopen the section from Romney to Dungeness. <laughs> they also slipped gently aboard one of the trains and enjoyed a trip on this very comfortable line. <laughs> At New Romney Station, they met the mayor and shook hands all round. Like all small boys, the two comedians were greatly intrigued by the outsized toy engine, especially Hardy. <laughs> It's here. After six years of research and writing by A.J. Merritt to present the book Laurel and Hardy, The British Tours. This engaging book is a story of the love which the British retained for the two Hollywood comedians after America had turned its back on them. And how they adapted from the film to stage work and survived through the changing modes of comedy and the changing moods of theatre audiences. This beautiful hardback copy is priced at 19 95 Please allow for postage and packaging £3.50. Please make cheques payable to Lawlan Hardy Tours Book Account, 6 Gainsborough Road, Blackpool, FY14 DZ. Telephone number 0253 391 572 and allow 28 days for delivery.